Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to be identifying variables, types of variables, sampling size, and observational units um, in statistics. Um, so let's just jump right to it, I guess. But first, um, I guess an observational unit is the thing that is measured. The sampling size is how much. The types of variables that can re range in multiple categories. Um, we'll get into that later. And variables are are the things that change in the experiment. Um, so let's get to the examples. So let's go do two. I'm trying to make this a quick video. Um, so paleontologists measure the width in millimeters of the last upper molar in 36 specimens of an extinct mammal. So what is the variable? Well, what changes? What's different in each of the 36 specimens? Well, that would be the width of the molar. Um, so that's what's changing. You might have... Um, you know, 8 millimeters, 6 millimeters, that always changes depending on the individual. What's the sampling size? That's pretty obvious. How many specimens? 36. What's the type of variable? Okay, this one um, has a lot of definitions or lots of types that it could be, um, but this one is a continuous or numerical one, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but what's the observational unit? What's the thing that's being measured? That is the upper molar. So going back to the type of variable, um, you could have a categorical variable, and that's pretty much just saying like there's two categories. You could have male or female. Um, you could also have ordinal, and ordinal means kind of order, so ranking. Um, then you could have numerical, which was what this, uh, which is kind of what this one is. It falls in that category, but it's continuous, um, and that could be things like height, weight, money. Um, another thing it would be non-numerical, so not that, so you would have alphanumeric data, you would sign a number or letter to a, um, your data set. And then you would have continuous, which falls under numerical category, I believe, and that's a measured rank um, that can take on any value. And then you could also have discrete, and discrete is when um, there can only be certain values. Like if you were to roll a dice, you could only get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, you could get a 1.5. Um, that's pretty much what that means. Okay. So next example, birth weight, date of birth, and mother's race were recorded for 65 babies. Okay, what's the variable? What changes um, for each of the um, sampling size of the babies? So what changes? Well, birth weight, date of birth, um, and race. Those would all change, right? Those would all be different depending on the individual that is studied. How many were studied? 65. Um, the type of variable, um, this one's kind of interesting. Race would fall under category, kind of like male or female. You could have, um, you know, black, white, native, Latino, Asian, whatever. Um, and then weight would be, so that's a numerical value. Um, and also date of birth, too. So those would be numerical or continuous. So kind of just think about it. What changes, what can be, what's measured by numbers, and what's measured by category. And finally, what is the unit, what is being measured, the babies. Okay, those are some examples of what was covered here. Variables, types of variables, sampling size, and observational units. If you can identify these in a statistical um, study, then it'll be easier to interpret your data. Hope this helps. Thanks so much.